Turning now to a News 8 exclusive as we take an in-depth look at the disease sarcoidosis. These numbers by our local regional medical centers, Unity Point Health reports just over 1,000 people diagnosed in the last three years. And Genesis Health Systems re records show more than 500 patients dating back to 2010 up until late September of this year. But the numbers don't tell the ripple effect on what doctors call a rare inflammatory disease with no cure. It's leaving people like this Rock Island woman living in and out of hospitals with uncertainty, but she's being a lifeline at the same time. The steps of life for 65 year old Carol Miller or about putting one foot in front of the other. How's this feeling, Carol? Pretty good. Feeling good? Pretty good, really good. Pretty How good. short a breath are you feeling, zero to 10? Carol's struggle to breathe is nothing new. For me personally, it is what it is. I live with it. It's one of the main symptoms of a disease called sarcoidosis, what Carol has. I've met so many people that have the disease, that know somebody that have it, and know somebody that has already died from complications from this disease. My people. One of them. When we gonna break, we break. The late legendary comedian Bernie Mac. The sarcoidosis had took a toll on him. I talked with his wife, Rhonda McCullough Gilmore. It is more common than you think. She says it led to lung problems further into his career. No matter how, how bad he was, uh, stricken with it, he always just kept positive and, and he used to say, uh, sarcoidosis don't have me, I got sarcoidosis, you know, and he would say, I'm just going to keep on going. That fight from in his 20s up until 2008, dying at 50 years old. For many, many years, as I say, he went on to, to, to just live life and Never had any issues with it. The same can't be said for Carol. Doctors kept telling me allergies, allergies, hair falling, different things like that for years. These were hives on her arms during our interview. She says it took roughly 20 years to get an accurate diagnosis of the problems. It's specialist after specialist after specialist. We need to keep an eye on it. Carol's doctor, Yudea Shrisha at Unity Point Health, says there's been a gap in understanding throughout the medical field. Because it's a rare disease, the diagnosis of it becomes challenging at times. This issue is common with rare diseases because we don't see it every very often. But the key... Are the symptoms persistent? Are the symptoms getting worse? I have GERD, I have heart disease, um, Lung disease, COPD, um, scarring of the lungs due to the sarcoidosis. Some people feel so alone, you know. I just want to bring awareness so people have a better understanding and a little bit more empathy. And that starts at this table. Carol turning her experiences into something more. I am so glad that you guys came tonight. She's launched a support group in the Quad Cities. This is for family, friends, caretakers, uh -huh. for anybody. It's been so many people in my sarcoidosis community. One minute you're here and the next minute you're gone. But through Carol's moves in life. Don't take your health lightly. This illness won't keep her from putting one foot in front of the other. Yeah, I just take it one day at a time. In Rock Island, Devin Brooks, WQAD News 8. And on your screen now, Carol's support group meetings, the third Thursday of each month, 6.30 p.m. at St. Anthony's Nursing and Rehab Center in Rock Island. That information can be found on our website, along with the only treatment for what's believed to be a non-hereditary disease, plus the efforts to find a cure and more on Carol's story. Just go to WQAD.com.